In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated hamburger menu just like this in Figma. This is actually a relatively easy animation to do. So rather than talking through creating the design of everything here, you can see that I've already got what is my open state for this menu on what is kind of like a photo app. And so if I click into here, you can see in my folder structure here, I've got it named correctly hamburger open. I've got the header area here, which actually contains the menu and I've got the hamburger icon and then the hamburger open, which is the menu itself. So if I turn that off, you can see it's appearing and disappearing. Inside of here, I've got the links so the album notifications, etc, etc. I've got the menu background. So that's this panel that sits behind it. And then I've also got what's called a scrim. Scrim is the term that's used for the kind of opaque black or gray, dark gray that covers behind the menu and puts focus onto the actual links and the content of the menu itself. A little fact here is that the, the word scrim comes from uh, the actual material. It's like a hessian. If you search for hessian, you can see, and it's um, basically a material that's kind of see-through, and that's uh, what we imitate with this opaque background. Anyway, so that's the scrim. So I'm talking you through my layer structure here just so that you can understand what we're going to do in the tutorial itself. So yes, I've got this hamburger open menu here, and what we'll do is we'll start from this state because actually the closed state, so that when the hamburger menu is closed, that is actually easier to, to go back to. So if you are at the point where you need to design this, maybe you haven't got to this point yet, I would advise designing to this point, to the open state, and then we can work backwards. And I'll show you what I mean by that now. So if I duplicate this and I call this first one hamburger closed, like that. Now what I want to do is I want to take my close button that I've got here and I'm going to animate this with an opacity. So I want this to fade out or actually it will fade in when it's opened. So I'll set its opacity over here on the right to zero. And now what I want to do is I want the links that sit here on the background. I want that all to slide in from the left. So what I'll do is I'll go over here to my names, my, my names, my layers panel, and this is where it can really pay dividends to appropriately name things because you can find where you are. So the hamburger icon, that's the trigger that's going to open and close it, and hamburger open, that's what contains everything. So inside of here, I've got the menu background, that's what I want to slide in, and the hamburger links. So now if I grab this with my mouse and move it outside of here, you're going to see that it has moved out of the artboard. So something you want to remember in Figma is if you're moving things with your mouse like that, it's going to to take it out of the artboard. What you want to do instead is you want to use the keyboard to nudge it across. That's what I'm doing now. So I'm just nudging it over. And you can see when I do that, I can take it as far as I want and it's not moving out of the artboard, which is really important when it comes to the animation stage because you want this to slide in. So I actually don't want it all the way over there. I want it to just be slightly off. I don't want it to travel too far. So that's now slightly off. And now what I want to do is I want that scrim to also fade in. So I've got the scrim selected over here in the layers panel and I'm going over to opacity over here as well. At the moment it's set to 100, but you can see that the actual scrim itself has got an opacity of 25. So that's the layer and then it's the fill that's got the opacity. So just remember that there's a different opacities for different areas. So you could have 25% opacity of the 25% fill. Just a little something to point out there. So I want this to be zero because this is the closed state. So now the scrim is at zero. The next thing you can see is I've still got the icon of the hamburger menu showing as a closed icon. Well, actually, I want that to show the classic hamburger. So I'm going to open that folder up. I've got the close text there, which is hidden. There's no opacity, which is why it's like that. And then these three layers represent the layers that make up the classic three bar hamburger. So this is the top one. And you can see it's got a rotation on it, minus 45. So I'm going to take that off over here on the right. I'm going to set that to zero. And now that's brought it to horizontal, exactly horizontal and into the middle. And I'm doing the same for the bottom one, set that to zero as well. And now you can see that it just looks like a bar and that's because they're all sat on top of each other. So I'll move that top one out, just zoom in slightly. I only want it to be four away from the one on the bottom. And then I'm gonna move the bottom one equally four away. And you can see now that there's a strange gap. Do you know why that is? The reason for that is because what I've done is I've taken the opacity off of rectangle three. So you can see there, there's the fill and it's got zero opacity. You don't need to do this necessarily, but if you don't do this, 
then you're going to have a bar sat through the middle of your uh, if, of your cross icon. I'll show you what I mean by that now. If I move these two back to the center and then I give them rotations of 45, you're going to have a nice little star icon. So make sure that you fade out that middle um, that middle bar or you're going to get something that looks like that. I think that's like a red hot chili peppers icon or something like that. Anyway, let's just undo that I'm pressing control Z on my keyboard. So yes, I've now got those all in the correct position. I think actually they might have been six away from each other. I'll just nudge those up six and see what that looks like. Okay, perfect. One thing I should point out at the moment is that just like with Adobe XD, if that's a program you've used, or Principle, another great interaction animation program, Figma relies on layers being named the same for animations to act in a smart way. And so I'll show you what that means now. So you can see that I've got this called Rectangle 4 over here. If I open Hamburger Open, and I go into the Hamburger Open, or sorry, go into the Hamburger icon, you can see it's also called Rectangle 4 there. So when I link these two together, so I'm going to link, if I go to prototype over here on the right, and now I select this little nub in there, I'm going to drag that to the Hamburger Open artboard. I want it to navigate to, on click, uh, Hamburger Open. Yeah, that's the only other artboard I've got. I want it to smart animate. I don't want it to do instant or any of these. There's various options that you can have here, but I want this to smart animate because I want the user to see the icon change. So smart animate. Ease in and out, that's great. And I've set it to 150 because I want it to be quite snappy. I think the default for Figma is 300. But as this is a menu, we want it to we want it to open for the person using it as quickly as possible. So 150 feels about right for that. And now what I'll do is I'll just link the hamburger icon in the open state back to the closed state. So that nubbin again, pulling it over there. And you can see Figma has um, saved all the previous settings that I had. And now if I go, if I'll just close this so I can boot it up properly up here to this play icon in the top right, you can see that it's going to open up the prototype. Fingers crossed this works. If I tap on that menu there, you can see it all slid in. That's perfect. And then if I hit the close or the icon there, it's going to close out. Now to demonstrate the point that I was talking about previously to do with naming, if I now go over here and I change rectangle four to rectangle 10 and I change rectangle two to rectangle seven and then I go back to my prototype what we should see is that it oh there you go you can see there they're now fading in and the reason for that and if you're seeing anything like this happening in your prototypes the reason for that is because the names are wrong so make sure that your names of your layers are the same across artboards otherwise Figma won't understand what's happening and you won't get the correct animation that's going on there. So there we go that is just a quick overview and a bit of a tutorial just before the drill starts my neighbor is doing some DIY um, of how to create an animated hamburger menu in Figma. I hope you found this tutorial useful uh, if you did please let me know in the comments hit the like button subscribe if you want more ui figma adobe xd design tutorials if you didn't like this tutorial, if you found it you know awful you think i can improve please also let me know hit that dislike button put something in the comments feedback is always useful and i'll see you in the next one bye for now